Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. On our previous videos, we looked at the 3x3 single tropic rearrangement and we looked at how on one side we look at how we lose one sigma bond and on the other side we actually gain a sigma bond one in a one to one position while on the other side is a 3 by 3 positioning that is why the name 3 by 3 sigma tropic process actually came about now in this particular case we are going to apply that particular understanding in this particular reaction which is a 2 by 3 sigmotropic process where we actually lose a sigma bond at the 1 by 1 positioning and then we gain a sigma bond at the 2 by 3 positioning. This is also interesting also because we're going to be looking at how this actually requires a 5 member cyclic transition state where 3 arrows are actually required and one atom is a carboanion. So let's look at this particular example in here where we have this particular species where it's actually quite an interesting one. On one side, you might look at it, you'll be like, hey, where is my one and where is my two? Where is my three? How can I neighbor or what can I name or number it? Now, one of the most interesting things is that this needs some kind of an activating sense in a way because. Once you subject this to an organometallic compound, in this case, butylithium, what we realize is that butyl actually has a negative charge on it, and while lithium has a positive charge on it. And what we see is that since this region has acidic protons in there, why is it acidic? Because we have a redrawing effect coming from both the oxygen and that of the phenyl group here, so making this particular carbon to have a redrawing effect between the carbon here and these hydrogen protons and this acid uh, hydrogen here are actually acidic in a way so either hydrogens will actually be removed by building and what happens here is that there is a deprotonation process happening here to form a negative charge on this particular carbon that is why we actually form a carboanion in this particular step here now this is also crucial because we want to extend it from just one to one to numbering. So if we draw this particular product here or pre-product, what we see is the formation of an anion here and over here we have a phenyl group here. So what we have is the numbering where we have a one, two, three and here we have a one, two on that carbon forgot to put my double bond in here and what happens as a result is that we actually perform a 2 by 3 sigmotropic process where one and one sigma bond will be broken off to form our pi bond while this is where we form a sigma bond and that is actually shown in here and over here we actually form our lone pair on this particular oxygen so what happens as a result is the formation of this particular compound where we have this being formed we have a negative charge on this oxygen and we have this particular double bond being formed this is actually the path where we actually do our 2 by 3 sigmatropic process now if you subject this to an acidic environment what happens next is that this particular oxygen picks up a proton and then what we get is the formation of our hydroxy ally product which is what we have over here now this can be very simple i mean it's like oh is that it edwin is that it no, actually, we need to be able to look at the transition state. How is this five member drink actually structured in transition state? Now, this five member cyclic transition state actually comes about where this five member drink has a transition state that is not quite chair. So, if we look at this pathway leading from here to there, what we see is that. Hmm, in this particular step, on one side, we do have our three members here and on the other side we have our two members here 
one with the oxygen and that of the phenyl group. So notice here that since there is a negative charge on this particular carbon over here, there is a distribution of the negative charge between this particular carbon and this oxygen here by a form of delocalization of the electrons. So the delocalization of our electrons enables we to actually see how the electrons are actually flowing in this particular sense where on one side we have this being formed, this bond being delocalized within this region and this actually being lost in terms of the sigma bond being lost and this is about to be formed and this carbon here is actually partially negative and this oxygen is partially negatively charged. So looking at this particular case Partly, that is the that is to become the new sigma bond in here that is going to be formed in this particular region here, and that can actually lead to a little bit of a chain-like part of the five-membered ring. So this is kind of a little bit of a five-membered ring chair conformation. But to see that really clearly, we can actually position our R group one in an equatorial position and that is about it in there. So our R group can be either in this particular regions here or R group which is equal to P H which is our finite. So let's redraw this and let's see the real solid transition state that actually has a little bit of a chair like form just in a five membered ring. So now if I redraw this What I realize is that on one side I have my R group attached to this carbon and that carbon and this carbon over there and what I see here on the other side is my oxygen actually positioned here and we have our other R group which is our phenyl group over there and what we see is that on one side as the sigma bonds are being formed in here sorry as the sigma bond is being lost in here a sigma bond is being formed in here by the delocalization of the electrons while on this other side we have the disappearing and the appearing of our pi bonds in this particular region now what happens as a result is that this actually exhibits a partial negative charge and uh, this puff exhibits a partial negative charge and we see the little bit of the chair conformation a little bit in here which is more revealing in a six member ring but less revealing in a five member ring then what this results in this is transition state is the formation or the arrangement of our molecule which is actually in this format where we have oxygen negative charge in there and we have a finite group and in here we have a double bond which has a trans positioning and then what that leads is the formation by protonation of this particular oxonium here to form our product which has a trans positioning of our R group in here with respect to our double bond. So that's about it for this particular video. I hope you're able to understand this. Hit the comment and let me hear your thoughts and see you all on my next video. Have a good day. Peace, love you all and be smart. Bye.